Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to be making some cherry scones or scones. So these are going to be um, a scone which has got some glacé cherries chopped up inside it and because glacé cherries um, have a slightly almond flavour I'm actually going to put half a teaspoon of almond extract into the scones as well just to enhance that flavour. So the recipe is actually very simple, scone recipes tend to be very simple and what I've done I've uh, started off by preheating my oven to 220 celsius, that's 200 celsius with a fan, 420 fahrenheit and I've lined a baking tray with parchment paper. I've only lined one tray because I'm not making very many, you can easily double the recipe and uh, get uh, more if you want to. So I'll go on to the ingredients. And for this, I have 225 grams, which is one and a half cups, based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup of plain flour. I have 40 grams, which is uh, three tablespoons minus half a teaspoon of cold unsalted butter. I have 40 grams, which is three tablespoons plus a teaspoon of caster sugar. I have 125 millilitres, which is half a cup plus a teaspoon of milk. I have one medium egg, which would be large in the USA. And I have 60 grams of glacé cherries, which is 12 glacé cherries, which I've chopped into quarters. The amount you use is up to you really, but I think 12 would be enough. I have two and a half millilitres, half a teaspoon of almond extract, and I have 10 grams, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So I'm going to uh, mix the dry ingredients and the butter in the uh, bowl of my immersion blender because that makes it easier. You can, you can actually put the dry ingredients and the butter into a large bowl and rub it between your fingers. Um, but I that just takes uh, longer. This this works very well. So I'm going to put, first of all, I'll put the baking powder into the flour and I'll give that a good stir around to get that mixed in. And I'll add the sugar in at this stage as well and mix that in. And then I'll put that into my processor bowl. And then I've cubed my cold butter and I'll just drop that in. And I'm going to give that a stir around just to get those little cubes coated. So they don't stick together and they um, break up because I want to process this to a fine breadcrumb like texture or coarse sand. So I simply um, pulse that repeatedly until it achieves that fine breadcrumb texture. And that should be good enough. I'll just check. Yes, that's good enough. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to chip that out into a bowl. And with that in the bowl like that, I'm actually going to put my cherries in and I'm going to stir those around because I want to get those distributed and they're very sticky. So I need to get them broken up just a little bit. 
as they get coated in the flour it would be easier so that's good like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my milk but not all of it I'm just going to hold a little bit back and my almond extract and my egg into that mixture and I'm going to start to stir it around and it will come form into quite a wet and sticky dough and if it's um, if it needs the extra little drop of milk that we've held back that can go in as well but I think this is looking quite good now I'll just take a spatula and scrape down to the bottom and turn it over And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that out. I'm not going to use that extra milk, I don't think. I'm going to turn that out onto my work surface, but I'm going to flour the work surface first. I'm actually putting quite a lot of flour on there at this stage And that dough is quite um, sticky as you can see so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick up some of my flour and turn it on to itself like that using the excess flour And I don't want to knead the dough, but with it like that, I'm just going to flatten it slightly. And I'm going to take one side and fold it up onto itself like that. And I'm going to turn it round press it down again and then fold it up onto itself again and then I'm going to do it two more times like that once and this is the that's the, the, fir the fourth fold altogether so with that folded I'm just going to turn it over and put some flour on that side turn it back and flour the top again and then I'm going to press that out you can roll it but I'm simply going to press it making sure the board is floured and I want it to be about an inch 
thick. And I have a seven centimeter uh, cookie cutter here and uh, just above the line there will be an inch so I can actually check the, the thickness and adjust it simply by pushing the dough in like that and that's about thick enough so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the cookies out uh, seven centimeters is uh, slightly under three inches and I'm simply going to push down to uh, cut that out without turning just like that and then I'll pick it up and I'll put it onto my prepared baking sheet and do the same again And then I'm simply going to push this back in without kneading it. Now if I press it down gently I'll cut out two more So with my five cut out, I have beaten uh, my egg with a pinch of salt. The pinch of salt helps to break the egg up um, so that I can then just take some of that and brush it on the top of each of the scones. And I don't want it to run down the sides, but I want to coat the top. And that's good like that. And I could actually freeze that extra egg and thaw it out and use it for an egg wash at another time if I want to. So I'm going to put those into the oven and I'm going to bake them for 15 minutes. They uh, should rise up and they should turn a nice uh, brown colour on the top. Then I'll take them out and allow them to cool down and once they've cooled down I'll come back and show you the results. I baked the scones for 15 minutes. They rose nicely, coloured on the top, so I took them out of the oven and transferred them to a wire rack and I've allowed them to cool. They're actually still just a little bit warm but I've allowed them to cool and I've uh, uh, pulled one up in half so that you can see the inside of one so this is what they look like um, so they have a nice little crack around the perimeter so to speak um, and it has a very nice crumb to it if that's in focus I've already had the taste but I'll have a bite of the little half that I've still got left you can spread these with 
butter and jam or cream and jam or something like that if you want to. I've just been tasting this uh, as it is, so to speak. Not overly sweet because we didn't put very much sugar in, but there is a sweetness there. And when you uh, get a hit of uh, the glacé cherry, that has a lovely intense sweetness to it as well. And I get the hint of the uh, almond flavour coming through from the almond extract and from the glacé cherry as well. So these are very, very easy to make and they're actually very tasty. And of course you can swap out and put different fruits in if you want to so i hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my youtube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the uh, recipe and i put a link below the video as well and i'll be back with another recipe in the very near future so until then happy baking